Yo, I was literally this close to going to bed, all right? Because I waited until 2.30 a.m. and I checked in-game news, saw nothing, and then I waited until 3 a.m. and I checked the Twitter and I was waiting for notifications and nothing happened, so I was this close, literally. I, I closed my eyes, I was gonna go to bed, and then I hear the notification on my phone, all right? And I click on it, as you can see, the, the tweet came at 3.01 a.m. So I was going to go to sleep at 3, and I was like, I'll wake up in a couple hours. Maybe I'll get something then, or maybe it's going to be tomorrow. But I am so glad I didn't go to bed. I'm so glad I decided to stay up because he's here, guys. He is freaking here, courtesy of the official global Dokkan Twitter page. Yo, what did I tell you guys? <laughs> what did I tell you guys? I said for part two of Goku Day. It was gonna be a global first, it was gonna be an LR UI Goku, and still a bunch of people doubted me man, they were like, yo it's not gonna be global first, it's gonna be JP first, or it's gonna be another character, like you're stupid, you're wrong. <sighs> Here it is guys, I don't, I don't wanna say I told you so, I don't wanna say I told you so, it's just like, there he is man, right here on your screen, official Dokkan Twitter page, we know this is real, this is legit, and there he is, the Super STR, Global First, LR, Ultra Instinct, Goku, Sign, and no, he does not transform, I just want to let people know right now, so it's not mastered UI Goku, I still think that they're saving something like that, like something, you know, even more hype than this, and mastered UI Goku for an anniversary, or download celebration, or something in the future, but, uh, this is huge, guys. This is huge. This is the first UI Goku we have received in Dokkan, both Global and JP, in like three years, all right? This is the first new Ultra Instinct Goku we've received since the first original one, like the original summonable. I mean, there's the free-to-play one, but there was only one summonable one like three years ago, and I can't believe we're finally getting one, but the crazier thing to me is that it's... It's global first, man. I just didn't see this in. I just didn't see it coming. I really didn't see it coming until we got the leak from Dokener, and then I knew it was coming. But I, I still couldn't wrap my mind around it until it just happened now. So, anyways, okay, enough rambling, enough, enough freaking out. I, I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm, I'm excited because this literally just dropped on me, right? So, like, I don't really know even how to like react, how to feel about it right now. But uh, let's just get into the details. Let's go through it together. Um, do the breakdown here, and then we'll t look at the animations as well, because my friend watched it before me, told me it was like the best animations he's ever seen in the game, so I'm super excited to see that too. But uh, starting with his leader skill, he is a Realm of Gods category leader, and his key plus 4, HP, attack, and defense plus 130%, which means that he is going to be a legendary summon, not non Dokkan Fest, as opposed to what people wanted, a Dokkan Fest LR, so he's not going to be a Dokkan Fest exclusive, he's going to be a non Dokkan Fest, and he's coming with a legendary summon banner, which, you know, is uh, a little bit unfortunate, I, I would have preferred Dokkan Fest, obviously, but I'm okay with this, man, I'm not, like, beggars can't be choosers, I'm not going to complain too much about him not being Dokkan Fest, anyways, 130% key plus 4 for Realm of Gods, or Super STR key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 100% is uh, passive, is turn in tides of battle. He gets attack and defense plus 77% right off the bat, just straight up, 77%, and then he has a great chance of evading enemies' attack, including super attacks, for seven turns from start of battle. And then he has a high chance of evading enemies' attack, including super attack, from starting from the eighth turn from start of battle. So he starts with a great chance, which I believe is 70%. I don't know the exact percentages, but it's around there, around 70%, and then high chance after the seventh turn. So from this eighth turn onward, he still dodges, but with a, a high chance. So I believe that's 50%, right? So it goes from 70 to 50, or am I getting those mixed up? Because I'm pretty sure, like it's late, but I'm pretty sure great chance is higher than high chance, all right? Um, from eighth turn, from start of battle, and then plus an additional key plus one up to key plus seven, and attack and defense plus 11% up to 77% with each attack evaded including super attacks all right so essentially this dude is absolutely broken all right he's absolutely busted 
absolutely busted. So every single time he dodges, he gets Q plus 1, 11% attack and defense, up to Q plus 7, and 77% attack and defense. But I'm pretty sure the 11 per additional 11% is calculated separately. So I don't know how the math works out for his final boost, but it's a huge, huge boost. And considering he has a great chance to dodge for, for the first 7 turns, you're going to be getting his full boost pretty quickly, man. Just put him in front of a bunch of attacks, and uh, he's going to be getting a lot of dodges like right off the bat in the first couple of turns. So I don't think it should be too hard to get his full passive off. And uh, he's going to be insane, dude. He's going to be insane. He's going to hit so hard. Defensively, he's going to be really good too, especially when you consider the fact he's going to be dodging most of the attacks, right? Uh, once again, I don't know the percentages like exactly for like what the percentage of uh, great chance and high chance are. I think it's 70 and 50 respectively, but like I said, I could be slightly off, but he's going to be dodging a lot, like a, a ton, all right? Uh, as far as links go, Kamehameha, prepare for battle, godly power over in a flash, tournament of power, fierce battle, legendary power, really good link set. I mean, he's got all the, the staples, right? Got uh, prepare for battle over in a flash. Uh, Terminal of Powers to be expected, Fierce Battle, um, great link set, like, can't really complain. I mean, Legendary Power has always been a very meh link, right, like, they need to update that, but he's an LR, so we have to have it. Uh, but yeah, that's the link set right there, six categories, Universe Survival Saga, Realm of Gods, Pure Saiyans, Reps Universe 7, Goku's Family, Kamehameha, and uh, lastly, Super Attacks, the 12 key, Instinctive Punch, disables enemy's guard and causes mega colossal damage or sorry no that's uh the 18 key so the 12 key disables enemy's guard and causes colossal damage and the 18 key is kamehameha which causes uh disables enemy's guard as well and causes mega colossal damage so disable enemy guard really good mechanic right there and uh let's th th let's look at these animations man i've been talking so much about just like how hyped i am about the details uh, i can tell you right now this dude is gonna be ridiculous he's gonna be insane all right so absolutely busted as we expect from an lr ultra instant goku a summonable one the first one like i said in like three years but let's go to these animations let's see what they're all about uh hold up okay i'm gonna click on this and let me just put my put on my headphones actually Look in, listen in with you guys real quick. Uh, okay, so I'm going to pause here. Okay, so volume on, volume's on. Let's turn it up a bit. And uh, let's enjoy this together. All right, here we go, guys. Let's get it. It is literally everything I could have ever wanted, man. Literally everything I could have ever wanted from a Ultra Instinct Goku Super Attack animation. I mean, I was hoping for that Kamehameha, like, you know, this, scene, this basically my favorite scene in Super, where he dodges all the Kefla attacks, and then freaking like, like, skates across, like, her beam, and then, like, Kamehameha's her in the face, like, that was, like, the moment, I was, like, it has to be this moment, but, like, I was not super hopeful, and that, this is dope, too, the 12 key is insane, like, the, the dodge and everything, um, oh my god, dude, but, like, I was, I was thinking maybe they would save that for, like, an MUI Goku, right, so, like, I was kind of expecting this not to not be an MUI, right, I was, like, mm, it's most likely gonna be, you know, just regular UI, right? Which it turned out to be, but I, I, I thought they were going to reserve this super attack for like a future UI that transforms into MUI, because this is like insanely hype, like this is the attack for him, right? But no, they gave it to him and it looks so good. This, this is literally the anime, like I thought we were close to the anime before, but this is even closer to the anime from what, we, what we've seen, I think. Like I, I think I'm just watching the anime right now. Like, like, for like, you could you could mistake this for just like not not a joke on Super Attack, but rather just like someone you know literally put the anime, you know, on like on the screen. Like, <laughs> it looks too good. 
It looks too good. <laughs> this is crazy, man. <laughs> I don't even know how to feel. Like, if I was on a camera right now, I might be crying. Like, I might, I might be in tears. If I wasn't on a camera, if I wasn't making this video for you guys. Oh my god. Dude. I'm done, man. I'm... Yo, I, I got nothing else to say. Like, this, this is the video. I need to go process this. Um, I don't have any other details for you guys as far as, like... Did we get a data download? I don't even know. Hold on. Okay, so enjoy enjoy this watch. Just just watch this. Uh, let me see if we get a data. I've got a data download at the same time. Maybe. Uh, we should, right? It should have. No, no data download on. Oh, interesting. Okay, so no data download on global yet. So we don't have any additional details as far as like what might, might be coming. Uh, with you know this celebration part two celebration anything like that, but. I'm sure there's going to be some stuff, maybe a world tournament, maybe a new story event, possibly with this Goku, who knows, but uh, at the very least we know, LR and uh, UI Goku, global first, coming to global, first, uh, hold on, hold on, actually let me check the JP Twitter just to make sure it's not on JP as well, nope, 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 nothing on the JP Twitter, just on global, as far as I can tell, and uh, it looks like JP's getting Kefla, Global's getting UI Goku, and for the first time in a long time, take this in, for the first time in a long time, Global is actually going to be more hype than JP, which just blows my mind, like that doesn't make any sense, that makes no sense whatsoever, but anyways, uh, <laughs> I'm done freaking out man, I'm done, yo, we, I, I, I gotta, I gotta relax, but uh, hope you guys are hyped man, I'm going all in, I'm gonna be live. We're spending like a thousand stones on stream. Easy, maybe more. We'll see. And uh, I will see you guys there. All right, let me know in the comments down below what you guys feel about him, what you guys think about him. He's insane though, trust me. Like at max passive, he might be the best unit in the game now. At max passive, he might be the best unit in the entire game now. He definitely has the best animations in the game. No question. Number one. No question. Okay. Uh, that's it, guys. That's all I gotta say. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.